It's time for the big fight. Ladies, please take your corners. Hey guys, it's Jess from She's the Posh. Welcome back and today we have another battle, another bag battle. We have the Hermes Her bag versus the Kelly. Which one will win today? I make videos every Wednesday and Sunday, all design and fashion related. I love to share with you all my tips and tricks. If that is something you're into, please remember to hit subscribe below and ring my bell so we can become best friends here on the internet. Okay guys, so I have another bag battle video. You seem to love these comparison videos and I do too. I think it's really fun to see the difference when people have more than one bag when I was deciding what size Kelly to get, if I should get the her bag, all that stuff. I always love looking at these videos, especially when people have something to compare it to. These two bags I think are great to compare because a lot of people have the Kelly on their wish list, but that price point and different things might be crazy out of reach where there is a more affordable version, which I say affordable with bunny ears, bunny ears, is a little bit more attainable, easier to get, and you can actually find these in stores. So let's compare the two, shall we? First thing we're gonna do based on shape. So these two bags are very similar in shape. So they are considered a trapezoid shape. This is the her bag and it's 31 centimeters. This is my Kelly and this is a 32. She's a little bit older. I believe she is from the year 2000. So she looks amazing for her age, doesn't she? And this bag is newer. This bag was made, I believe in 2019 or 20 her bag and this is called the her bag zip so there are other her bags out there so the her bag came out around the in the 80s and the thing about the her bag which was so exciting is that you could change it out where these rods would undo so you can actually pull this out take this all apart so some videos cool videos about that, that i'll put down below for you because i'm just personally afraid to take anything apart to put it back together because i have no reason to change it but that was such a revolutionary idea is that you could take this bag and completely change the canvas part, more versatile, make it something lighter, something darker. And it's just really neat. And my girl Jenny from, she is Lux Life in the Dog House. Her channel, she has so many her bags and has a huge love of them and has a bunch of these vintage bags. So I'm definitely gonna put her channel down below. She can kind of show you, because she helped me like love the her bag. It was because of some of her videos that I really gave the her bag a chance. So this is the her bag zip that had come out to replace the regular her bag. So it has the zipper in the back again, has the lock. I choose to lock mine in here. You can still take this bag apart, but you have the canvas around here and the opening for this bag is you kind of just pull it out like this and this gets pulled up and this gets pulled out like this. And then what's nice about the newer ones is you have this detachable pouch that it comes with to kind of organize your things because there's nothing, no zipper or anything in here. Next, we have the Kelly, and it was actually named the Kelly bag after Grace Kelly. This was originally called the Sac, Sac de, I'll put the name here. I, I butcher French names, but the Sac uh, de something right here was originally called, but it got changed to the Kelly because Grace Kelly loved to carry it all the time. And a fun fact, she actually carried this bag to hide her pregnant belly from the paparazzi because she had recently got married and then she became a princess. So she would just hold it so chic like this in front of her belly so that the paparazzi didn't know she was pregnant. So fun fact there. So this style of bag has been around for a very long time. So when you're looking for like an investment piece, something that's gonna stand the test of time, this has been around since I believe the 1930s, this particular bag, this particular style. This is something that is sought after, absolutely gorgeous, and it's not being discontinued or changed in any way. It does come with a strap and different types of leather, any kind of color, there's different sizes. I got the 32 and I don't think this is too big. This is similar to like the classic one that Grace Kelly used to carry around. And the opening with this one is 
it shuts by cinching in these sides here and turning it and then it shuts. But I usually just turn it and I keep these, these here opened on the side and then you open it like that. So I normally just close my bag by putting this part in here and then it'll stay shut that way when I hold it top hand. A lot of the time I hold my Kelly top hand out very rarely. I put it like as a shoulder bag sometimes, but I like having my Kelly close because it's very coveted for me. And this is, it's called the, the Gaviar Leather. So it is smooth leather and it's similar to the, I believe it's called Swift Leather. So they no longer make this particular type. This was made in the early 2000s, but they, make something similar to that that you can get. And what's nice about this bag is you can find them and you can get them vintage. They're still a pretty high price point, but I was able to get this so we can pair price for just around $7,000 on Rebag. Ouch, I know, but that's still a great price for the bag. Now let's talk about this bag right here. The price, so the the Her bag was created in the 80s because of versatility and this bag was discontinued and then was brought back and it's starting to get popularity. However, sometimes people call this bag the poor man's Kelly, which I feel like that's just an awful thing to say because it is a cheaper price point. These bags usually retail close to $3,000, whereas the Kellys are usually closer to the 10,000 mark, if not more. And again, on the secondhand market, these are worth more where these you can actually get under retail on the secondhand market. I do really feel like these newer ones are so much nicer. I love the fact that you have the zip. I feel like that's a game changer because the opening of this bag, if you compare it to the Kelly, is a lot more fussy for me. So something with this bag is that you kind of have to take this part off and off of this to open the bag. I guess you can kind of leave it open like this, but nobody likes to leave their bag open, but you could, whereas, the Kelly, I feel like tips over more, but it's kind of a fuss to get that put in. And normally I try to push this in because this leather is kind of stiff. It's easier when it's on your shoulder to close this bag. It's, it's harder when I'm trying to look at it this way. So I would say like on closure, this bag is a lot easier to close, like having it like this, I think it looks a lot chicer. And this one's a little bit more fussy to close, not terrible, but you can close it. The leather with this, these bags are pretty stiff. And I would say that this bag here, I see it more as a casual bag than the Kelly. So I feel like the style of the her bag, I like them, people call it the country Kelly, because I feel like that's more accurate. It's like a country Kelly taking this one to T. So I feel like in comparison, if you're looking for something more fancy, you go with this one something more casual that you can get away with. And you're not worried about people looking at you with an Hermes. You can go along with this one. It's still gorgeous and classy. And I love how they're coming up with like new and fun prints. This is canvas. And again, it is a more affordable. You can't really wear any of these across body, even though you have the straps. The strap you can detach, but only if you take all of this apart. So I normally just keep it on there. Whereas this one, you can detach it super easy. Now in comparison of like value per like money, I would feel like what's like a better investment based on money. I would say that this bag is a better investment. Yes, these bags are hot right now, especially these fun prints and stuff. They're, they're making a comeback. People are loving these. Like right now I could sell this and make a profit already on this bag. I see them retailing for close to $4,000 and not over $4,000. But these bags here, this Kelly bags are always going to be sought after. They've been around. They haven't been going anywhere. So this bag is better investment, better bang for your buck. So when you look at quality of these bags, is the quality different? And I have to say, something that surprised me on this bag. So I have this bag. This is vintage. It's a little bit older. It is a smooth leather. There is some scratches to it. It's not too bad. And someday I'll have to take it to the spa but it's in really great shape. I don't think the person that owned this like really used it, but because this is a softer leather with my Kelly, the wear, what will happen to the Kelly is it will start to sag. I actually have a organizer that I got for this to help with the shape, but now that I've taken that out, you can kind of see the sag and stuff that I have. I have wrinkling here to the sides. That's gonna happen on a lot of the Kellys and, Bir and Birkins. 
So that's the wear that normally happens to these bags. I don't have any cracking or anything like that, but I, you will have scratching. The leather is soft and it is going to sag. So that's the most common wear that I see with the Kelly. Now the wear to this bag, this bag I find out, find it's, this area is a lot more structured. I don't see this. I'm hoping it softens a little bit over time because this is actually really stiff, which is what makes it harder. But most of the wear that you're going to get to this bag is going to be where the closure is. Do you see that little mark that I have right here? I freaked out. So the first day I carried this because I bought this on Fashion File and I got it on sale and I had sold some bags and I carried it out for my very first time. And all of a sudden I was just getting my stuff out. And I noticed this mark here, which I didn't have before because when I bought it, it had protectants on it. So I text like all of my friends and I'm like, oh my gosh, it's the first day I've worn it and I totally ruined it. I must have like, for I thought I forced it or did something. That wear is actually from this little clip that is right here and it's inevitable. It happens to all of them, no matter what. So that kind of is the reason with this bag that even though you could just push it like this and leave it open like that, I normally want it closed and I close this bag like this because I don't like that mark showing. So that's something that I didn't like that it is aware that it's just gonna happen to the bag and it kind of sucks. I wish it didn't happen like that. I mean, you can't see it when it's closed. It's not a big deal, but it's something that I just didn't care for and I didn't know about because that's why a lot of people will not buy her bag on the floor because it doesn't have that mark. People look at it. So they'll never get one with, because it's gonna come with an automatic mark on it. So other than that, I haven't had this super long, but there I will notice that some people will get some snags to the canvas part, or they will also get like some stains, but I hear it's really easy to clean. I know Sam from Barker and Blonde has been able to clean it with like, you know, a little dish soap, a wipe. Sometimes you get stuff like that on it, but mostly the wear is to this part right here guys we are coming to the end of our battle so i've been kind of giving you the value for money so let's get that so i kind of like to end like the battle of the bags talking about the cost and the value so the cost of these bags are pretty pretty different so this one you could actually find in stores this one you have to be invited and it's per chance and stuff to get in stores most of the time if you want to find this bag you got to go to the second hand routes and if you get it under retail you're going to have it with damage there's going to be things that are wrong with it like mine has you know had a sag to it and stuff like that had some wear to it scratches you're going to get that and you're still going to be play, paying close to what retail is because i believe retail starts around eight to ten thousand for these and i paid seven thousand for a bag from the 2000s and from the early 2000s i believe this is 2001 or so her bag you can actually find this in stores it is retailing more reasonable around the $3,000 price point. You can definitely find these secondhand cheaper. You can find some of the original ones that will not have the zipper, but from like Japanese resellers, they might have some wear to it, but know that you can change campuses out. So if you find this part that's nice, maybe you can find yourself another her bag and switch it out. There's some beautiful versatility to that bag. However, if we're going by value and reselling, this bag is always gonna be going up. This bag will always be relevant. And this is a bag that people are always gonna want. If a bag hasn't gone away in almost a hundred years, it ain't going anywhere. I mean, this bag has been around for about 90 years and it's still beautiful and sought after. Like these bags take about 18 to 24 hours to assemble by one craftsman. So when you look at the her bag, some people don't like this bag. This isn't the most sought after bag. Yes, it's in a limited edition print, so that helps, but the normal her bags are not sought after. So this necessarily isn't a good investment piece. It probably won't go up much in value, especially as it wears and it gets some marks to it. So the battle of the bags, who is the winner? So I would have to say that this is based on return on investment. I'm doing it based on the ease and love that I have for that, I would go for the Kelly. So the Kelly is more expensive, but for me, I find the value there because I know this is always gonna go up in value. This is always going to be relevant. It's something that I'm always going to carry. Whereas the Herbeck, I just don't know with this investment, is this gonna be a bag that I love for a long term? Is this style gonna be something that I'm gonna to wanna to use? But if you just like the look of the Kelly, 
maybe you should go for the her bag. If you just like the look, you want to have something cute like that, I would look for a vintage her bag because you can get these for around $1,800, a little bit less, then maybe that's something you should go for. But for me, guys, the Kelly wins every time because she looks amazing. She's been around forever. She's been around. I hope like when I'm 90, like I'm this cool. I'm this cool and everybody still wants to hang around with me and have me hang out with them. They let me in their closet. Let me hang out there and hang out with all their pretty things. So yeah, guys, that's the end of the battle. Who do you think won? Okay, guys, that is everything. I hope this was helpful putting this battle of the bag together. I'm planning on doing another battle between the Kelly and the Birkin, like which one should you choose? If you love these kind of things, please put a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, I wanna thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again. Bye, guys.